Uh, this uh, pandemic, as the German professor was saying, has brought out some good efforts like this one here, but also brought out uh, bad things in the world. However, me, I like the bad things. It's bad, but, but somehow it wakes up the Africans. Africans sleep too much. You know my orientation. I have never believed in independence. Ever, for the last 60 years, I've been struggling against that. In the government, when we were outside the government, in the resistance, we were always striving to depend on ourselves. Therefore, this, <laughs> this unfortunate phenomenon where people have vaccines and they say, no, we must first vaccinate our own people. That's unfortunate, but I like it because it wakes you, you Africans. Africans are a disgrace to ourselves. Why do you have to depend on, on the outside for everything? Life, you depend on the outside, why? So, even before the, this crisis, I was always struggling with our people. Ebola started here. We are the ones who, who suffered from Ebola. Why would anybody else develop the vaccine not of Ebola, not ourselves? Why? This is a big shame for Africa. And within the government, you know, you know what I'm, we, are, we are doing. We must develop, and we are developing with our funding, Uganda government funding a pathogenic industry to make even a business out of our diseases. If we are the ones with the diseases, why don't we make a, a business out of them? At the same time as we provide uh, the cure. Now, the only thing I want from outside If the vaccines come, good. If they come, we shall welcome them. But more importantly, we are developing our own vaccine. And I've been following every day what our people are doing. And they, they can do it. They have the, they, they have the knowledge. We have trained you. Many of you are highly educated. Uganda started education long ago, modern education. The only little issue I would like to ask from our German friends and other friends, if they want to help, are sometimes the raw materials. The raw materials for this vaccine. Because of the e economies of scale, sometimes it is not economic to produce every every raw material, every input. It is sometimes cheaper and, and quicker to get some of the inputs from outside. So give us those inputs. But my people have been getting problems. It seems some people don't want Africa to stand up. So I'm glad you have this organization. You discuss frankly 
let, let's get the, the support of, 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 we shall pay. We don't want to, any, we don't, for me, I don't want any, any donation. No, I will pay. But if I want, my people, for instance, I will give you one example. My people, my people wanted uh, cells to grow the virus here. These cells apparently originally came from the African green monkey. Apparently it has got, the green monkey has got some cells which are good for growing the virus. So, clever outsiders took the cells and multiplied them. So when I quarreled with my people, you people, how can you sit here as, as if you are imbeciles? That we are dying, we are waiting for foreigners to come and save us. We shall die until the foreigners come to save us. What sort of people are, are, are you? And you are trained. It is the orientation. It is a slave mentality. My people now started now get, trying to get the sales now. There are no way in Africa. You can imagine in the whole of Africa, there were no these green monkey sales, which originally came from Africa. And my people started looking here, looking there, looking there. They, a lot of, of struggle. And some were, were wondering, you Africa, why do, why do you want the sales for? You stay there and wait for other people to make the vaccines. I said, no. We must get, get them. If we don't get them from the ones we think are friends, we shall find another way of getting them. And we've got, we got them. So my people now are moving. But they need some other raw materials. Even this morning I was checking with them. Please, if you really want to help Africa, get us those raw materials. We shall pay. I don't want any help from anybody. I will pay. I will pay for the vaccine if it is already done. I will pay for the raw materials. And in the next one and a half years, we shall be standing up in all these areas. We shall be having our own vaccine. We shall be having, uh, we already have our own uh, diagnostics. We already have the, um, the therapeutics. The therapeutics. We may help the world. We are moving very well there the therapeutics. So therefore, for me, there is this prepared speech here where I say I'm happy to see you and so on. But I'm telling you my thinking now. So, this selfishness in the world is bad, but it's good. I like it because it wakes up Africans. It wakes up Africans. It's a shame that the whole of the African continent is just asleep, waiting for to be saved by, by others. If they don't save us, we shall die, like happened with the slave trade. How can this be? Slave trade went on here for 400 years. These idiot chiefs were here just putting on monkey skins and so on, looking like clowns. So therefore, although this is bad, but, but, but me, there is a good thing in it, to wake, to wake up the Africans. So I go back to the written speech now. We know that the ultimate solution to COVID-19 lies in vaccinating all our people. But even the vaccination, when you vaccinate, there's a new variant. I, I think 
you have to discuss this because when you vaccinate, there is a new variant which is now. Uh, uh, you 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 tell me what to, how you are, you handle that uh, mutation of the virus. The government, with the help of the African Union and other partners, will fast track the acquisition of sufficient doses of vaccines to cover the entire population alongside efforts to develop our own vaccine. That one is the, is the one I am really uh, working on. We are continuing to talk with India, the USA, for the Johnson Johnson vaccine, China, and Cuba, uh, 